Good day guys, Darian Giuseppe here, back again with another video for the Key Concept series. Today, what we're going to look at is a new topic. We're moving away from complex numbers, we're on the second topic in Module 1. For Pure Maths Unit 2, we're looking at differentiation. And in today's video, what we're just doing um, is a introductory or is an introductory video on um, differentiation. So we're just going to refresh our minds as to what is differentiation and look at a few applications and the notation of differentiation as well, where it where the first derivative is concerned and the second derivative. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. We The big topic is differentiation. And the question is, what is differentiation? Previously, what we should know is that differentiation is the rate of change of y with respect to x. So that is the first thing you should know where differentiation is concerned. Differentiation is the rate of change of y with respect to x. It is also the gradient function, right, at a point x. That's the next thing to note about differentiation. It is a gradient function at a point x. And lastly, differentiation, it gives you the gradient of a tangent to a curve y at a point x. So differentiation is the gradient of the tangent to a curve y at a point x or at any point x. So that's very key. So that is basically some things to note about differentiation, what it is, right? Um, the next thing we want to look at is the notation for differentiation or the first derivative, sometimes you call differentiation is the derivative, is a derivative. Um, so we want to note as well the notations of differentiation. And we're just going to look at the first and second derivative. So this is basically it here in terms of the first derivative. And then we have the second derivative. So we just have a few notations that we have to look at. These, this is a common derivative or the common notation that we use dy dx for the first derivative or d2y dx squared for the second derivative. But you need to understand that there's also, or you can write the first derivative as f prime of x. If the function is expressed in terms of f of x, then you would have to use f prime of x. And if you're finding the second derivative is f double prime of x. And also this one isn't that common, but f, um, f1 of x, where you have the one just symbolizing that is the first derivative, and then f2 of x, the two just symbolizing that is the second derivative. So that's another notation that could come up. So just make sure you familiarize yourself with it. And um, this could just extend to fn. We know the derivative dy dx could extend to, right? This could be it here, right? Where n is any positive integer right and it could be extended in terms of the prime the prime could go to any number of primes just depending on the number of derivatives or the number of times you differentiate and well obviously in the case of the number in the brackets here this number could be n right any positive integer here as well so it could go on right you could differentiate right down to infinity infinite number of times you can differentiate once the function allows it. But that's just in a general case or a general sense of the notation. You could represent it like that. So that is that in terms of the notation, in terms of the application of differentiation, differentiation can be used to find the gradient of the normal to the curve, the gradient of the tangent to the curve, and also it could be used to find stationary points. So that is very key or oh, those are some key things to note where the application is concerned. And you would note if you could find the gradient of the tangent to the curve and the, the gradient of the normal to the curve, you could then find the equation for the, for the tangent and the normal as well. And also to stationary points as well is very important there, maximum and minimum points as well. So you just want to make sure, we, we just want to make sure we understand the definition of um, differentiation as seen with these three points here. We know the notation and we remember the different applications of it. So that's what this video is um, 
the purpose of this video is just to highlight um, and make sure that we remind ourselves of what is differentiation, its notations, and its applications, because all these things are going to be applied in um, the Pure Maths Unit 2 paper. You need to make sure and remember it because, I mean, it's just come like a base. That's your base, and we're just going to build on it in the next coming videos. So guys, with that said, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, share the video to anybody that you feel this will help. Um, and see you in the next video.